David, before we get into the racing on Saturday, you'll be walking four tracks, four kids on Monday. How's the training been for it? I haven't done a lot of training, but I'm a naturally very fit athlete and uh, looking forward to the challenge. And uh, what a, a great cause. Also, the Melbourne Premier sale has just wrapped up. How many yearlings did you purchase there? Um, it, uh, we purchased about uh, nine, and I think we're getting about 12 to train. So uh, it was a good intake, and I was very happy. And there's some really nice opportunities, if people would like to look at our website, available. And uh, hopefully they'll be racing in all the bonus races next year. Racing at Flemington on Saturday, two runners in race one over the thousand, starting with San Sierra, who's uh, 20 to one in this. Uh, yeah, I think you might find this a bit short. Promising young horse, um, should be doing his best work late. Claudia Jean is a winner here at the track distance on debut. She's $4.60. Yeah, um, her trial was very good going into the Blue Diamond. The horse she trialled with ran third. Um, she's a quality filly. Um, I, 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 she was unfortunately scratched from the Blue Diamond due to a hoof injury. Um, that's subsided and she should be very hard to beat. She did a good piece of work at Flemington on Wednesday. Smallfield in the second, a fleet of spree is second up over the 1200. She's $3.40, second favourite. Disappointed me first up, but I don't think she will second up. Um, track work's been very good. Race four, Gracious Prospect, runs over the 1400. Last start winner at the track distance, he's $5.50 in this. Yeah, dual last start winner, he's won his last two um, in terrific order. Very honest horse, got a small but a quality field and he's always he's going up in class but he's been handling it pretty well his last two starts at Flem. And Rornak gets out to the 2600 in the fifth? Yeah I think it's the first time he's been fit for a while at his right distance. Um, I'm hoping he can step up on the weekend. Hard horse to catch though. Two runners in race six over the 1400 starting with Girl Guide who's five dollar second favourite. Yes, um, things went wrong with her. Um, I think Craig didn't quite get it right the other day. Uh, I'd, I'd forget she ran last. You don't often tip one that ran last at its last start, but I'll tip her this weekend. Um, I think she'll race right on the pace and be hard to catch. Star fashion, first up in the sixth. Typically very good first up. Very good first up. Um, coming in off a light preparation, like we did last time. She got up at 20 to 1 first up last time. Um, well and truly capable of running a great race. Um, she will need luck from Barrier 1. Race 7 is the Group 1 Australian Guineas over the mile. Petrology has drawn Barrier 1, comes up $11. Yeah, it's the first time he's drawn a barrier since his 1800 metre win at Flemington. Um, he'll take a much more forward position and probably sit in the first half a dozen. And if the brakes come at the right time, He'll be presenting in hard to beat. His form's very, very good for this. Forget he went around last start. He went back from the wide barrier, and it was just a sit sprint that didn't suit back markers. But his closing sectional was pretty good. Firehouse Rock is the other runner in the Guineas, thirty-five dollars. Yeah, different tactics. Um, I was sure he was home last start, uh, and then he stopped and waited for them. So we're going to be the horse last to challenge instead of first, and we'll produce him. Late in the straight, and he's got a very classy short sprint, and hopefully Walker will time it. I've put visor on him as well, which are blinkers with little windows, so if he does get to the front, you'll see them coming. Spacecraft returns from Sydney in race nine over 1800. He's drawn out in 13. Yeah, it won't matter. Um, he'll just cruise across down that back straight in his own time, lead, and he's always competitive if the tempo's right. Over to Randwick in race one, Stay With Me has her second start over 1200, comes off a good debut run at Flemington. Yeah, definitely uh, uh, has improved. Um, first time in Sydney, a bit of an ask, but uh, the track work here on, two, on Monday was exceptional. And I think uh, she's got a lot of her traits that her mother has, so look for her running very, very well here. Race 7, the Group 1 Canterbury Stakes over the 1300. Criterion is first up, he's $12 with Catkins the favourite. Yes, we've taken a fresh approach here. Um, the horse is really, really going well. Um, it's the same approach I took when we took him to Hong Kong. Uh, classy horse, set for bigger and richer things down the road, so whatever we're doing will improve. But over the years I've found these quality Group 1 horses generally sprint well fresh. And your best for the weekend, David? I really like a fleet of spree and stay with me in Sydney, I think might jump out of the ground.